What's good? This is Tico Trent, and I'm going to talk to you about matriarchal society. So this is going to be an ongoing series for the most part, breaking down matriarchal societies. A problem with matriarchal societies as a whole is they're not set up to defend themselves for the most part. As I was saying in another video, the men are actually literally chained or shock collared from reaching their full potential for all out warfare or all out protection for the most part by the matriarchs. So that means that what a man could possibly do or what a, the best a man can be is not the best a man can be for the most part. So it's not shocking when you see a matriarchal society falls. Matter of fact, and if you notice the difference between a, um, the difference between a, the layout of a matriarchal society and let's just say a village that has a patriarchy, the layout is two totally different ways. The layout for patriarchal patriarchal villages or towns tend to be fortified and or in a place where like it's it's going to want to deter you from actually going there. Whereas a matriarchal society, their villages aren't situated in defense. It would be the difference between having a high ground and shooting down at somebody and being in the low ground and shooting up at somebody shooting down at you. That's pretty much the difference between a patriarchal society and a matriarchal society. Ma patriarchal society usually has the high ground, whereas a matriarchal society is usually in the low. Like, in the, in the low. Because it makes it easier for the women, quote unquote. So, like, you and there's nothing you can really say, well, Tico, it's different in each country. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same layout in every country, no matter how you cut it. Only thing that changes is the weather. That's fucking it. Let it be snow, let it be rain, let it be hot, let it be desert, let it be anything. That's all that really changes is the fact is the weather. And that's the thing, that's the downfalls to, that's the downside and downfalls to a matriarchal society. Whereas patriarchal societies have the next technologies and the luxuries, the matriarchal societies don't. And a, a good way to preference that is, and I mean this in a, I mean this in the nicest way. Give me two incels, two morbidly obese guys, and a Comic Con geek for an hour, and I could train them to overtake a whole entire matriarchal village in a matter of minutes. Just a six, we can overtake a matriarchal village that fast. That's how unprotected the matriarchal village is. Because like I said, the men are chained from their full potential. Even if a man believes he's fighting to his full potential in a matriarchal village, he's really not. His capabilities are hindered due to the women. So a man never reaches his full potential in a matriarchal village for that reason. They stay in a constant cycle or loop. The best, the best preference, the way, the best way to preference this is um, the inner city, in in your first world countries. That'd be a good example of that. All those kids that never make it out of the inner city that ends up be, being caught in a, got in a constant loop. Hell, even some of the kids who make it out suffer from this still. It's just facts. So. And that's the, that's the irony to the matriarchal villages and the matriarchal places in the world. They hinder growth of their children. And there's other things that hinder, that they hinder in their village and growth, as far as growth and, you know, wealth and, you know, bringing in, like, businesses and, you know, stuff along the lines of that. There's other things that it, it uh, pretty much hinders, but that's a topic for another day. Blessed. I digress.